Thank you, Rachel. This is Mr. X joined by ZP up in the caster's booth. We have a tremendous game here on our hands. Can Envy complete the mission, ZP? You know, the best team in Overwatch up until this point. Now they are going up against the Misfits, so they've done a tremendous job. They're a little bit of a Cinderella story coming to this event. They've had some roster moves. Misfits, they had some big setbacks where they've lost two of their players, had to get last month replacements, but they have gotten here to the Grand Finals, and even though Envious is the juggernaut coming in, Misfits definitely has that upset potential here tonight. Yeah, so let's just explain King's Road, you, you viewers at home. King's Road is going to be a hybrid map where the offensive team's going to have to get control of the point, then they're going to get the payload. They're going to have to move the payload throughout the map you do that by you know keeping some teammates on it the more teammates you have the faster it goes the blue team you will be seeing envious on the defensive side of things first they'll be set up trying to stop them at these close choke points so they can knock it in and take that first point and on envious's side here zp we're gonna see tailspin on may to kick things off i love this hero on king's row the great thing about may is that she is all about controlling space. She can bring up walls that block enemy movement, can split a team and let them just take a 6v3 at any point. So it's really, really good here on this map. And all the Misfits starting things off. Look for Soon to play extremely well on Reaper. His Reaper play is what's gotten this team to this point here in the Overwatch Open Grand Finals. And it's going to be the Misfits taking this high ground. They're going to try and jump out of the balcony. And that avoids those May walls you were talking about. So they're not going to get split up as a team. It's a really good approach. It stops Tailspin from getting what he wants to get here. And Misfits right now taking the solo approach. Not going in just yet. Waiting for the opportunity. They're going to drop the Ice Wall soon. Blank shot after shot in the Coco right now. First two kills of the game going to be going the way of Misfits. Yeah, and this is such a team-oriented game that those two first kills just open up everything for the Misfits. You see Soon and crew plowing through the opponents. It's going to be Chips, the only one on the point there for Envy. He is going to fall, and you see the point going in favor of Misfits here. That could not have gone any better for Misfits. They get the point on their first attack. Envy's going to be rolling back here, but really their best option is to set up here for the second point defense. But going into it, soon is very close to getting his Death Blossom. A slight ult advantage is going to be coming up soon here for the side of Misfits. Yeah, now you can see at the top of your screen those percentages. Those are charging the ultimate ability, so you can see where the players are at and which ones they can combo together. So you look on the side of the Misfits. He, Dan, he gets that nano boost. So he, they have one part of that devastating Anna Reaper combination. We jump on with Soon, getting very close to that Death Blossom. When he gets that, look for him to try and sneak behind enemy lines and surprise the opponents with that combo. This is the bread and butter of Misfits. We've been using it all tournament long and soon. One more shot away, Nano Boost is out. He's going to roll into the back line. And no, he's going to get knocked down right away. But it doesn't matter. Enough has been done here for Misfits. It is a full team wipe. Drew with the cleanup at the very end. And Internet Hulk, when the last one's up, unfortunately, the May Blizzard just not enough to let Envious win that fight. Oh, uh, there's nothing Internet Hulk can do in that situation, right? I mean, he's got five players charging him on the Misfits. And what Envious did there is Tailspin uses his May's Blizzard. So that's May's ultimate ability. They tried to slow down the Nano Boosted soon. Now, the Reaper of Misfits was not enough. And you see the payload moving closer towards that second checkpoint on the side of Misfits. You have Riv. He's going to have that first shatter. It's a big play from Reinhardt. Slams down that hammer, knocks down the opponents. So you see that Maywall going to come in. The Graviton Surge comes in as well. Riv trying to protect his teammates with that shield of Reinhardt. And you see the battle being taken here. It's going to be Envy charging the opponents, not wanting to let them get that checkpoint. It's going to be soon, though, picking up three big kills in the feed. Envy trying to retreat, but it's not going to be enough CP. It's going to be Misfits pushing forward. They're going to be able to take this checkpoint. Misfits is on a rampage right now. That was excellently executed by them. They did not fall the Internet Hulk's Graviton Surge despite being grouped up. And now let's take a look at Soon. He is surveying the enemy side. What he's going to be looking for is to drop down and drop the Death Blossom. It does massive AoE damage, and he is ready. He's going to just go right in and try and take Envious out in one fell swoop. And here he goes. Yeah, he's going to get Nano Boosted down at 10 HP, though. He's going to have to back up all. Now he's going to get a little bit of healing. Charge in, gets nothing with the Death Blossom. He's going to charge the back line, going to be able to take out Chips. Has the enemy Reaper directly in front of him, going to lose that to Taimu. And now you see it's actually going to be Envy switching over. They're going to run a Farah Mercy combination. So you see that beam there. That's going to be Mercy. She's able to charge with one teammate, you know, either with healing or damage. And she has that ultimate ability. So if Envy drops, Harry Hook could come into the fight and get a resurrection, bringing everybody back up. But Tailspin just trying to stay alive here, knocking down damage. But he's going to be taken out by crew. Misfits getting very close to taking this. And Misfits right now, they are about to cap it out. This would be huge. This would be a very quick time. 
Envy is on the hot seat. They're just trying to get back in. And Earthshatter coming down. And here comes Rip. Swing the hammer. Nano boosted. Clearing out Envy. Harry Hook is down. Nevix takes out Tailspin. It's still Misfits on momentum, but Taimu, he's pulling it back. He gets the double kill, and Envy, here comes the Nano Boost of their own, and Coco rolling in, swing the hammer, takes down Crew, and Envy is, oh no! What a mistake! They leave the payload unattended, and they give it up! Uh, so Envy was doing a tremendous job trying to come back there at the end. You saw Coco protecting his team with that Reinhardt shield, and then he gets Nano Boosted. He jumps off to go take out one player, and the other player on Envy follows him. They get off the payload, uh, and they let the other team bring it right in. A fantastic time set there by Misfits. They are in the first half, and that's got to be a shocker to Envious. Envy did not look strong there. Not only did they get hit with a haymaker in the very beginning, they lost point A immediately. They weren't able to do anything in the streets phase. They finally started to do a little bit of resistance towards the end, but then at that last fight, when they were winning that fight, they should have been able to push back Misfits. They weren't able to do it. They got off the payload and Misfits punishing them for that inattention. And Envy makes a hero switch halfway through the game. They bring out that Farah mercy combination. Why is that so good against Reaper? We saw Envy you know, do a lot of nice things earlier early in the tournament, combating a lot of Reapers with that Farrah Mercy combination. The reason why it's so good is that Farrah takes to the skies. She goes into the air, she lays down big AoE damage with her rockets. And Reaper, he's very good close range. He wants to get up and in your face. That's why he has such good synergy with heroes like Lucio that can speed boost an entire team. Heroes like Ana that individually speed him up. But if you're in the air, Reaper can't fly. Yeah, and I know Reaper dropping down that, uh, it's going to be Reaper, obviously, you know, being able to get into the enemy lines, you know, able to get close, being able to do that damage. That is going to be the goal where Envy is going to need to get Somewhere. to. They're going to force that time bank scenario. And ZP, just break down how the time bank scenario works. So the way the time bank scenario works is that even if Envious is able to get all the way to the end, Misfits will get another attempt to bring the payload forward as far as they can. And the reason why that last attack was so good is that it was so incredibly quick that they will have four extra minutes to add on to that distance. So they are in an incredible position here. Envious has to move quickly on this attack. Yeah, and it's going to be Misfits. Nevix specifically, he's going to be running that McCree. So an offensive hero who can do a lot of damage at range. It's going to be very difficult for Tailspin as Farah to be able to take him out. You know, flying through the sky does not have the fastest movement. It's going to be on Nevix to take him out. Tailspin going up from above and just raining down those rockets you talked about. Do not have to get direct hits to deal damage. Can just shoot them on the ground. Does a nice area of effect, and he's putting down a lot of shots in that Reinhardt shield. And Tailspin right now, he is a master of this craft. However, Coco goes down early. Tailspin, though, counterfying. Both Reinhardts are down early on this fight. And this is where Tailspin, there's not one on him. He, this is where he can lay in shot after shot. And for now, Misfits starting to get pushed back a bit as Envy is winning this poke war. Yeah, and it's going to be Taimu picking up one as well. You see it's going to be Tailspin getting a little bit of a damage boost there from Mercy, and it's Chips has that revive. So Envy can play a little bit more aggressive here, ZP. And if they die, it's going to be Chips flying in. You see it's going to be McCree there using his Deadeye ability, and here comes the Nano Boost on a Reinhardt. It's going to be Rib swinging, trying to win this back for Misfits. Tailspin just trying to stay alive. A lot of ultimate use here for the side of Misfits in this fight. And Tailspin, he was about to do a barrage, but gets taken out. Misfits with the turnabout. They might be able to push Envious out here soon. Finish out the three, but the resurrection coming back in. Tailspin taking to the air. Justice raining from above. Four kills here for Envious, and they will take this point. Uh, and you see how clutch a good Mercy Resurrect can be. When it looks like Envy is out of the fight, Chips brings them right back into it. It's going to be Envy able to get control of the point. They're going to be moving the payload, and they have that ultimate advantage. So we talked about it before. You look at the top of your screen. You can see on the side of Envious, all those check marks. That's going to be their ultimate abilities are up. So you're going to have Taimu, Coco, and Harry Hook with all three of their ultimates. They can use those in the next team fight because you look on the side of Misfits, they're only going to have soon and maybe rib with their ultimates up. And Lucio's sound barrier is so good for setting the pace. Harry Hook can drop that. It's going to shield the entire team, and they are going to roll right in. Coco is going to be trying to land that early Earth Shatter. And Nevix, though, able to take Tailspin out of the sky very quickly. Envy getting caught off guard soon into the back. It's three kills for Misfits, and Envious will have to go back and regroup. Yeah, and you see Misfits getting a very aggressive on the defensive side of things. And CP, just break down how an actual team fight works. And Soon goes in there. Which targets is he looking to take out? Soon, if he can get on supports, your heroes like Lucio or Mercy that heal people, he'll go for that. But oftentimes, a Reaper is totally content with taking out the tank 
tanks that control the fight, that protect their friendlies. But here we go, next fight is underway. Graviton out for Misfits though, catching Envious off guard. Two quick kills once more, and Misfits in total control of this game right now. On soon goes on a little bit of a cheeky flank, able to take Tailspin out there. The Graviton surge is so important, but there comes another oh. Mercy Res. It's gonna be Ribdo saving that Earth Shatter, pinning one against the wall. Crew picking up another, even though the res comes in, Misfit still holds on. You see soon, he's gonna teleport up top, gonna get into a sneaky position. He's going to have that Death Blossom soon. Look for him to kind of hide out up top, catch Envious off guard once they push through that choke and drop down and just end the enemy push. Soon right now is in a great position. He's gonna be jumping out from this window right to the back line, waiting for his opportunity. Here's, he's going in from the back, but they know it. Sound is out and Envious diving into the Misfits back line, picking up three. Soon's ambush will fail and Envious will push this cart. Yeah, and you see Envious with that effect on them going into the fight, that is Lucio's ultimate sound barrier. It's gonna give them a little bit extra shields as they push forward. So you talk about your support heroes, your heroes like Lucio, Anna, Mercy. They're just so great at giving you that extra sustainability in these fights that keep the rest of your teammates alive. It's great. That is the power of support here in Overwatch. Now Taimu looking to turn the tables, has his Death Blossom at the ready, going to be looking to bring a little bit of pain to the Misfit side. Taimu, of course, one of the best players in the game. Soon going to get hit by the Sleep Dart. Not going to be able to get in right away, but oh my goodness! He still gets three anyways! Envious rolled right into him and paid the price. Oh, and it's going to be Nivix pushing forward, going to put down a lot of nice shots on Internet Hulk. Maybe it'll take him out, and it's going to be two minutes about on the clock here for Envious. They are so close to completing that second checkpoint, ZP. The cart going to move back you know, towards the Envious side when they don't have anybody on it. And you see Chipso for the side of Envy. He's going to have that Anna ult, so pay attention to that, who he puts it on going into this next fight. Without Tailspin having his ultimate, you could see it go on Coco on that Reinhardt and see if he can get one pick here. We'll have to see what Envy does. They're going to charge him once more. Coco with the Nana Boost going right into the back line, trying to take out Nevix. But Crew, the counter, Graviton sets up for three kills once more. Misfits just outplaying Envious right now. And X, there's a growing problem for Envy right now. They only have about two more pushes left to take the second point. If you look at the time in the upper left, their time is ticking down. There's only a minute 30. They are in trouble. Yeah, and Crew uses that Graviton Surge. So that is Zarya's ultimate ability, and it's able to just suck in the opponents. And they're stuck in that black hole of Zarya, not able to move anywhere. That is a really good counter to what Envy did there. Envy tried to use that Nano Boost, tried to get to the enemy back lines. When Zarya uses her ultimate, not able to do this. And now you're going to see the Zarya Aria Graviton of Envy come out at soon though, trying to put some pressure on these backline players. He's gonna be put to sleep and dealt with quickly by Taimu. And now you see a big Earth Shatter coming out from the side of Misfits. They need to hold on here, ZP. They do need to hold on. Taimu though on the McCree. McCree is the cleanup king. His Peacemaker Revolver is so good at cleaning up people when not shielded. And Taimu and Tailspin will be taking out the last remaining members of Misfits. They will keep the payload moving. They get extra time from hitting the checkpoint, but they are still very far behind what Misfits did on their attack. Yeah, now, you know, Misfits was so fast on their attack, you can kind of put that into perspective, right, with the four minutes left on the clock. Envy here, they only have the second checkpoint and two minutes left to get the last one. So regardless, if Envy's able to do it, not going to have a lot of time left. You see Taimu there, he's going to be using his McCree ultimate, trying to get anyone out of position. But here comes soon with that nano boost. He's going to be pushed back. They sectioned off some players. He's not able to get anyone. It's going to be Tailspin, though, able to pick up three on the Envy side of things soon. Needs to get back towards the payload, trying to take out one. He's going to be taken out. Envy wins that fight, ZP, in the cart, making its way around the corner. The goal is in sight. Can Envy do it? Envy is in a good position to finish this out. Misfits, though, they still have their Death Blossom. They still have Groton Surge. Crew, he's going to be coming around this right flank, looking to pull all, everyone together. He's waiting for his opportunity. They know where he is now, but Envy, look at how much respect they're giving Crew right now. They know they have to go in too quickly. They're getting Groton, but here it is. The Groton is out. Three people still pulled in. Is there going to be the follow-up? Crew and Edan take down both Internet Hulk and Taibu, and they will get the cleanup they're looking for. Yeah, and uh, Misfits coming out of EU, we saw a lot of aggressive play out of the EU teams, and the thing that Envy was worried about is that when Misfits gets aggressive, how they were going to counter that you know, with maybe a Lucio sound barrier, maybe throwing you know, that Ana grenade that amplifies the healing of Lucio onto those clutch fights. And now it's going to be Misfits with that ultimate advantage going to this next one. Going to be very hard for Envious to break. All right, and as you saw there, Envy did have one of their players take himself out of the battle. That's so they could reset his six. Envious down to the last 40 seconds. This is a must-win fight. If they lose this fight, they will be down a map. 
And look at soon, he's looking to end this. Nano boost in from the corner. G gonna be met by the honest sleep. Soon not getting what he's looking for. Envy with the appropriate counter, but Misfits still rolling in. And you see Envy gonna save that Lucio sound barrier as soon as the fight starts. It's gonna be soon trying to stay alive. There comes the sound barrier out of the side on Misfits. And you see it's gonna be soon trying to knock down these supports of Envy, putting a lot of nice shots on Harry Hook. He's gonna have to fall back, but it's gonna be Envy. They only have eight seconds left to get towards the cart. Envy right now on the hot seat. They must make this work. And then at the last moment, Graviton sets up Coco for a kill. Envious not going down just yet fighting for their life here on King's Row. Misfits, though, their respawns are coming in. Crew has another Graviton Tailspin trying to get to the back line for Death Blossom with that AoE damage. Will spin right in the Misfits. Takes out four with the aid of Taimu, and Envious is not gone yet. Yeah, and Coco's got that support for Taimu. Taimu's got that dead eye up. He's gonna be able to get one. Envious gonna be able to get the cart all the way to the end. In the final seconds, Taimu and Tailspin go absolutely huge for Envy. Taimu and Tailspin are the Bash brothers of Envious. They team up and many times will wipe a team just together. They have great coordination and it was better late than never there for Envy, but now they are in a rough shape. They have no more time left. They are going to have to defend on point A for four minutes. This is not a very good position to be in, X. There's one team though talented enough to do it. It is Envy. They have the Juggernauts here in competitive Overwatch. And you see Taimu, he's had so much success with that Roadhog. Do you think you see something like Roadhog being brought out here? I'm not sure. Roadhog is something where they use it a lot against other heavy tank comps. We're not seeing that right now. And honestly, if Taimu has a hero that he goes to when the chips are down, it is McCree. You saw that in the last game where he was on the Reaper for a long time. And yet, when they weren't getting anything done, what was his hero that he went to when everything mattered? It was McCree. And it's because he is simply one of the best McCree players in the game. His ability to just click on people and get the shots he's looking for is phenomenal. Well, if you're on the side of Misfits and he goes over to that McCree, how do you counter that? How do you make him uncomfortable playing in that character. The way you make him uncomfortable is you simply get on him with your tanks, run something like a Winston, get in his face. But it looks like Envy is going with the more standard defense here. They are putting time back on that Reaper, tailspin on the May, and they're going to try to control this out for over four minutes. Yeah, and it's going to be Misfits now trying to put away this first map in their favor. And now the first time they went up top, took control of the hotel area and dropped down from above. And it looks like that's what we're going to be seeing here in this time bank scenario. It's going to be soon on Reaper. Get used to seeing this. He is absolutely <laughs> sick on this hero. He's going to put down a lot of damage. They're going to catch one player off guard for Envy. And now the fight ensues. The fight is underway. Misfits definitely doing well in the poke war. But Coco able to strike first blood, taking down Riv. And this is do or die for Envy. They can't really lose people or trade out too much. They need to win this decisively. And Misfits, they're trading blow for blow right now. And that's bad because Misfits, they respawn sooner to the point. They can reinforce more quickly. And they might be able to overwhelm Envious if it keeps up like this. And also, the more damage that Envy puts down, it's just going to charge those support ults on the side of Misfits that much faster. So you see Hedan already has that nano boost on his Ana. See who he gives it to for the side of Misfits. You could look to see maybe like Rib on Reinhardt because he has so much health in his pool. He's able to just get onto the point and cause chaos. Or you could see Soon coming on a flank here. He's going to get the nano, going to fly through, trying to do a lot of damage here. See, he'll put down some shots on the enemy Zarya, but not able to take anybody out. You see Taimu on the Reaper for Envy. He's able to get three. Soon in trouble. He's going to drop. Envy with yet another hold, ZP. Two minutes and 40 seconds left. The pressure is on for the Misfits. Envious bent, but they did not break. They gave Soon a lot of room. They didn't give him what he was looking for. They dealt with it about as well as you can expect. And now Taimu has that Death Blossom at the ready, hiding here in the corner. He's going to look to ambush Misfits as they move forward. And when you have tension like this in a game with this high stakes, sometimes you don't check your corners. And let's see if Taimu can punish Misfits here. Yeah, the defensive Death Blossom at a time who could really end this push here for the Misfits. He's gonna hide behind the opposing Maywall. There comes the Death Blossom. Not able to get anybody with it. It's gonna be Crew though, taking himself out in the fight. So that's a big loss there for Misfits early. And that's gonna be the May Blizzard of Nevix coming through. You see a Graviton Surge sucking all those players of Misfits together. And now Envy, look at how aggressive they're being here, ZP. They're being aggressive because they got a few pickoffs early in the fight. They have the number advantage and they can roll right into Misfits. And now, this is dangerous for Misfits. Envy has had a Herculean task in front of them, and yet they have done so much. A minute 40 remains. Misfits has maybe three more attempts at this, but really one good attempt with their ultimates they are banking. A lot is going to come down to this next fight, and if Crew, Soon, and Hedan can combine their strengths to
to take out Envious right here, right now. Yeah, so you could see Crew throw out that Graviton Surge and soon use that Nano Boosted Death Blossom, but he is going to be pushed back and frozen. Envy with yet another hold. They are going absolutely huge here, ZP. A minute and 12 on the clock. Nevix does have the Blizzard for Misfits. Envy out of ultimates altogether. They need to get a clean hold. This is pure heroism coming out from Envious, but their final hardest test is about to begin. A Under a minute is left on the clock for Misfits to try and win this map outright. Soon has his Death Blossom. Nevix with the Blizzard. They have the alt advantage. Will Misfits be able to capitalize? They are looking to go in here in just a moment, and soon the man to watch, can he put them over the top? Yeah, and it might be Nevix using that Blizzard of May, trapping Envy on the point, and then soon coming in. You see the May Blizzard coming down. Envy is forced to back up out of that. The sound barrier is going to come in for Envy soon. Soon playing so patiently, trying to see when he can use that. Oh! He's not going to be able to use it. He's going to get pinned by Coco. Huge play from the tank of Envy. This is huge from Envy as they only have to hold for 23 more seconds, but Misfits on the point. The Nano Boosted Reinhardt is out. Two extra kills, three extra kills. Misfits, they only need one more pick, one more push. They are doing it. Misfits on the verge of winning the first map against Envious. Yeah, and Tailspin's going to drop down his Blizzard and get into that May Ice Block. He is Envy's last chance here, ZP. It's going to be Misfits. Five people on the point trying to stop Envy coming off the spawn. They're going to switch over to some more agile characters, trying to get over towards it. But you're going to see soon and Co in the kill feed. One more player from Envy trying to contest. That's going to be Chips on Tracer. But you see it's going to be going over towards Misfits. But you see how close they are. Envy doing a fantastic job contesting here. But it is not enough. Misfits takes map number one. What a play from Misfits at the very end. It was a valiant defense by Envious. It was absolutely gutsy, but Misfits able to hold on to those ultimates and break through when it counted. And the Cinderella story for Misfits is continuing. What a great opening for them. Yeah, and you saw some big plays from Soon right there at the end. It looked like things were going to fall apart for Misfits, right? Did not get that Death Blossom off, but they put that Nano Boost on Rib, and he went huge. Rib went huge, and remember, Rib is filling in for Misfits. He's one of the players that came in short notice. There was a family emergency for one person on the roster, so to come in as a replacement and play as well as he is doing right now is nothing short of miraculous. Yeah, you know, that's a good map that Envy is, you know, usually very good at on King's Row. I mean, you expect them to win that one. Misfits comes out and shocks the world there as they have a 1-0 series lead here in our best of five. And, uh, you know, looking forward, we have maps like Route 66, Gibraltar, Lijiang Tower, and Nepal in the map pool. It'll be very interesting to see what Envy goes with next. Yeah, Envy, uh, we'll see where they decide to bring it. They might decide to bring it to Nepal or Lijiang, maps that they have been strung on in the past. Yeah, and it looks like that we will see what map comes up after this quick commercial break. Can Misfits continue their Cinderella run here at the E-League Overwatch Open? We'll find out right after this quick commercial break.